There's over 1.3 million people in our tri-state area that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look in their eyes, there's a sense of hopelessness. So Carrie and I have been praying about how to reach out to our neighbors, but everybody's extremely busy. There's very little personal interaction. I've been working with this football team for nine weeks. What this team needed desperately was hope. Come together in unity, camaraderie, and for them to hear the Word of God. I needed a way to give an invitation. Hey Sally Mae, God bless you. Come on, you're Tonight is a very special night. It's uh, amazing what's going on. We're gonna watch the DVD and anything can happen. I'm excited, I'm hoping to see many of our members bring their friends, relatives, neighbors, and acquaintances that either don't know the Lord or are struggling in their walk, that they might receive hope as we present the gospel of Jesus Christ. What I would love to see is just for hearts to be open and become one step closer in knowing who God is and that seeds would be planted. This could be your defining moment what are you going to do with Jesus? There's only one message that can change people's lives and hearts. The cross expresses the great love of God for man. And with all my heart, I want to leave you with the truth. Jesus Christ, He can make you a totally new person. watching a film and he said that God loves us all. God says, I love you. I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. And when I got saved, I felt like I started from a new sleep. Well, we had about 100 show up and 11 got to know the Lord through this video and it was just great. People were crying behind me. It really spoke to their heart. As I was crying, God was cleaning me. God is willing to free anybody. That's why I was so moved. Freeing the kids that are out there that feel lost or don't know what to do, this is probably the best decision I have made. There's no greater joy than to know that somebody else has been secured their soul for eternity. So many times you plant and water and don't see the increase, but God did it.